Video game movies have a long tried and true tradition of being terrible and the Minecraft movie is the newest film to join that roster. It hasn't even come out yet uh, but yet the trailer for the film has already got millions of people hating it. Now I personally haven't seen the trailer yet I've just seen screenshots of it but today we're going to be taking a look at that trailer together and then I'll be giving you my opinion on it. Welcome to the Zank Films podcast. Zank Films. Subscribe. Okay. Some kind of photo. It's nice. Take it right this way. That actually looks really cool. Oh, okay. Okay, so the backgrounds here actually look really good. Uh, the the set designs, the background characters, everything looks really cool. All the mobs, the monsters looks really great. Now, what I'm getting from this is that most of these characters are like people from the real world entering Minecraft, which is a weird way to go about it. But I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But the real thing that bothers me here, and I think the real thing that bothers most people, is that they look like normal people, which if it is that they're like coming into the world, I guess that works. But in that case, it begs the question why Steve is just a normal looking dude. Also, Jack Black is probably the worst choice to play Steve. You have a movie where Jason Momoa is in the film. He's there. He's on set. And they picked Jack Black to play Steve. That's a really, really bad choice. Oh, boy. Let's okay. finish this. This is pretty cool. See, I, I don't actually mind that they made all of the Minecraft stuff look like sort of a hyper-realistic but still blocky. That's that's okay. That kind of works. And I'm honestly, I think that that's like the best way to make it look. But, man, making the characters look like that is just really... That's definitely the biggest problem, I think, with uh, visually so far, the way this movie looks. Um, I mean, they could have definitely made it look a little more like Minecraft, uh, Minecraft story mode was a perfect like visual. That would be a really great way to make this look. But I mean, it's also a major motion picture. You don't want to just make it look like a video game. So I can see why they would want to make it look a little bit more realistic, which I don't mind. Uh, it is really just the people, the human characters, not being Minecraft characters. That is a really, really weird choice. Um, outside of that, it it really does just look like another generic Louds Kids movie, which is fine, but nobody really likes that. Kids enjoy it for like the hour and a half that they're watching it, but then they forget about it immediately. But like movies that people actually like, movies that people remember, movies that last forever, they need more than just that basic entertainment value. And there are a lot of people who like to sit there and say, oh, well, it's a kid's movie, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, but kids aren't stupid, firstly. And I don't think that giving kids stupid entertainment is a good way to make them be smarter. It doesn't help them grow well. It doesn't help them develop well. It just turns them into idiots even more. As I explained already in my Teen Titans video, kids' entertainment needs to be intelligent. Not only for the kids' sake, because it, you know, makes, it, it makes them better. It makes them more intelligent. It teaches them more. Uh, but also for the industry itself. Nobody respects movies the way that they used to. Nobody respects film as an art form the way that they used to because in part most of our movies are just stupid now and I think it's very very important especially for kids movies 
again, for the industry and for the kids who are watching it to make those things more intelligent, to put more thought into them, to put more planning into them. Now, on that note, I think when it comes to video game movies specifically and why most video game movies fail, it's frankly because of exactly what this movie's doing. Because they completely ignore the built-in target audience for the thing that they're making and instead focus on trying to get a wider audience. They're trying to get as many people as possible to want to see this movie, but the fact is it's a Minecraft movie. Most people don't care. The people who care about a Minecraft movie are going to be the people who play Minecraft. So if you want to make a movie about Minecraft, you should make it appealing to those people who play the game, who like the game, who would want to watch a movie about the game. But when you have a built-in target audience for something that you actively ignore, you not only alienate the people who would actually want to see the thing, you also alienate the people who have never heard of it before. Because now what they're seeing is, oh, they're making a movie about a video game, and the people who like the video game think the movie's shit. Well, why would I want to see it then? Uh, so it really just doesn't work out very well um, overall. Now, the only exception to this I can think of is the Mario movie. The Super Mario Bros. movie that came out a couple of years ago did a very, very fantastic job. And the reason that they did so well, the reason the movie was so re well received, the reason that people are still talking about the movie, the reason that people like the movie is because they leaned into the fan base. They leaned into what the fans like and what the fans enjoy. It's a little fan servicey at times, sure, but they leaned into what people who actually like Mario would want to see in a movie. They leaned into the soundtracks, the themes, the characters, the designs. They didn't suddenly make Mario just Chris Pratt. They made him look like Mario. They animated him so that he looked like Mario. And that's exactly what the Minecraft movie needs to do. Now, video game movies are most, for the most part, really really bad. Minecraft, unfortunately, looks like it's going to end up being one of those. But I think that if these movies would just focus on their target audience, focus on the built-in people who already like what they're making, who like by default will want to go see it, and focus on making something that those people are going to enjoy, I think that they would be able to have a lot more success. I think that these movies would be a lot more popular. And the Super Mario Bros. movie, again, was a fantastic example of this. And I really, really hope that in the future, video game movies start to follow in that direction because it clearly worked very, very well. Thank you for watching this episode of the Zank Films Podcast. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe. Be sure to tune in next week at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday for the next episode of the Zank Films Podcast. And if you enjoyed this episode, you'll probably enjoy the previous ones. So go and check those out as well. Thank you again for watching. Peace.